So the first thing we want to do when we're setting up our instrument is to moisten the reed. Okay, so we're going to moisten it by putting the tip into our mouth. Leave it there for a moment, but then you also want to moisten the back side of this reed here. So we actually want to make sure that the whole face of the reed is wet and moist. We also want to moisten the face of the mouthpiece. There's a few ways to do this. We can wet it with the reed because we got some moisture on it already. We can wet our finger, put it onto the mouthpiece like so, or we can simply just lick the mouthpiece. Now when we place the reed onto the mouthpiece, it should automatically stick like that. It should be able to stay on the mouthpiece without a ligature. This is when you know you're putting enough moisture on the mouthpiece and reed and therefore sealing in the air. So next we want to take our index finger and thumb, I use my left hand, place it on the side rails of the mouthpiece and try to line it up, not only on the side rails going from top to bottom, but also on the top of the reed. You want to be able to line it up so it's just, you can just barely see the mouthpiece above it. You don't want it to too far down like this. You don't want it too far down like this, and you don't want it too far up like this. You want it just right in the middle. Now, once everything is straight, you want to hold it in place with your thumb right here. Hold that securely. Now we want to place the ligature over the mouthpiece to secure the reed in place. You have to be really careful here. Hold your thumb at the top part of the reed so that the ligature can go down. Some mouthpieces have a ligature line around this area because you want to make sure that you're pushing the ligature down far enough. Another tip is that the screws, although ligatures come in all shapes and sizes, the screws are generally going to be facing the right. So make sure your screws are facing right and that the larger part of the ligature is facing downwards so that it fits securely. Now there's a chance our reed may have moved around a bit. It might be too far up like that. It might be to the side like that. It could be any way. What we want to do then is do the same technique as we did before. We want to use our thumb and index finger, line it up, and then use the bottom, the right thumb, to push up the reed. Push down the reed. This is a really delicate process, and you want to make sure that you get it right. So you make sure your ligature is now securely in place. And the last part is to actually tighten the screws. And that's how you fasten the reed to the mouthpiece. Make sure everything's in place, make sure it's not moving around, and make sure that you don't see too much of the top of the mouthpiece. The next part is to then take your crook or neck and slowly twist the mouthpiece onto the crook. Now, where you position it is also really important for tuning purposes. If your mouthpiece is really far out like this, everything's gonna sound flat. But if you put it too far in, sometimes it's gonna sound sharp. It all depends on where your mouthpiece is supposed to be on the neck. And this is something that takes trial and error. It takes time to figure out. But generally speaking, you wanna start out by putting it around three quarters of the way down the cork. We're gonna talk about exactly where to position our mouthpiece on the cork but for now just put it around three quarters of the way down the cork so that's how you set up your ligature mouthpiece and neck if you're having trouble getting the mouthpiece onto the neck it could be the cork could be too thick too stiff there's actually a thing called cork grease this one is called dr slick and it's just like kind of lip balm or vaseline you put a little bit around the cork like so, and it's gonna help you to twist on the mouthpiece. Now, if the mouthpiece is too loose on the cork and doesn't stay in place, there's actually another technique. 
that you can use where you get a piece of paper, just a corner of an A4 sheet or just a small piece of paper. We're going to moisten the cork, put the paper around it like this, should stick in place. Then we twist the mouthpiece on. This is a really common technique, helps to keep the mouthpiece secure. If you're still having problems, I would recommend getting the cork replaced by a repairman.